You say, you say that on a day like today when people are writing their checks, hopefully they've written their checks uh, already, uh, that they should be unhappy with the Republican Party. Why? Well, I didn't say they should be unhappy. I'm saying that the Republican Party had an expectation that this tax bill that was fairly unpopular when it was passed would become more popular as people filed their tax returns and saw that they were getting more money back. And that certainly hasn't been what you see in the polls. In fact, there's a lot of people complaining they aren't getting the same level of uh, their uh, refund is not as high and um, they're having to pay in. Part of that was because they tweaked the withholding tables and obviously right. um, trying to get it closer to an approximation. Senator, can of I what ask you a question about that? I find this argument about the withholding story and this idea that people aren't getting more money back to be the strangest uh, argument in town because ultimately well, it's not suggest look there are people who are paying more in taxes i understand there are people out there who are unhappy that they're paying more in taxes that i 100% get what i don't get is those people who are actually paying less overall in taxes but are somehow complaining that they're not getting as big a refund well that's because you've never administered taxes before and i have and i know that many many people use the tax system to basically mandate a, a kind of savings plan and then they have an expectation when they get that they'll right. pay off their credit card debt okay, from but Christmas. we do recognize they'll that this is just their... mathematically doesn't make sense right Right. No, I, okay. I agree. But perception, as I said at the end of the op-ed, you know, you can make all those arguments, right. but at the end, perception is reality. And the perception today is that this tax right. bill did not Senator, you, adequately benefit the middle class. Do you think that there is any chance that this uh, tax plan is going to either be repealed, adjusted, uh, or anything, um, even if uh, a Democrat were to win the White House uh, or, or the Senate or the House, for that matter? I mean, across, well, you'd have to get thing, all three across the board, probably. Yeah, but, but listen to this. The first thing you absolutely have to do is somehow make the individual portion of this permanent. It's not. It phases out. Right. And, in fact, some of the changes will actually increase the tax rates for the middle class. So let's not even talk about if. We should right. be talking about what yeah, should I, this look like long term. Heidi, until 2022, 80% of, of the, the tax cuts actually do go to, to the, the middle class. And then in 2022, if you look at it total, then it does start benefiting the wealthy again. They had to be made permanent. But that is the frustrating part is even the years where it is working for the people that, you know, you would want it to work for, it isn't seen that way. And that's the thrust of your piece is that perception is reality and it hasn't been explained well or it's been skewed or something but in 2022 it really gets bad because then it does yeah. if it's if it's not changed or made permanent then it accru a lot of the benefits accrue to wealthy uh, individuals yeah be be because the GOP couldn't stomach the the actual right. cost of this thing right. so they didn't want it they wanted to hide um, the deficit that that this was going to bring upon us and it's not easy to hide when you look at what's happening and right now when you, you, you say well the middle class did get a benefit that's right but they believe they got a disproportional benefit right. given what it cost right.